Good morning. It is Friday, July 14th, and I am just up road from the Kukagami General Store, which is located at the intersection of Highway 17 and Kukagami Lake Road. I'm standing by to meet up with six buddies for our annual boys' canoe trip. Once they get here, we're going to convoy our way up the road to the Sportsman's Lodge, where we are parking and putting in on a four-day, three-night loop trip through Donald Lake. Now, I'm super excited for this trip for a couple of reasons. First one, uh, these guys I don't get to see that often. One of them came from Montreal and another one drove or flew all the way from Los Angeles just to be here for this trip. So that's one thing. Second thing I'm excited about is, well, this is a redemption trip for me. Uh, for those of you who watch my channel, you'll know that last year I attempted a similar loop trip through this area only to have it cut short because I forgot a camera tripod at an, at an earlier campsite and was forced to retrace my steps to pick it up. So last year's loop trip turned into a there and back but I promised I'd come back for a loop trip. Here I am, and this time, I'm gonna try not to screw it up, but if I do screw it up, I've got six other guys to blame it on. So, let's see what happens. Dave's finally making an appearance. You get used to it. You love it, don't you? Huh? I don't appreciate that, Dave. Sorry, buddy. It's part of the trip. The ball busting's part of the trip. It's totally part of the trip.
I'll lift the back up and bring it out this way. Just recapping our first day, uh, an incredible paddle in to the campsite we're on now, which is the island site on camp um, on Lake Maskinonge. And we had about five portages coming in here and a lot of uh, creek and swamp and sort of river travel, small tiny pond lakes, if you will. Um, and it was a challenging paddle in, nothing we couldn't handle, but it was uh, a lot of work and the guys are a little sore right now because it's our first paddle of the year for a lot of us. And many guys uh, spent a long time in a car and a plane getting here. So now we've just had an incredible dinner uh, prepared by Jordan of smoked salmon, uh, Caesar salad, and uh, now I think we're going to get into some libations and chill out around a campfire, which is amazing because the fire ban was lifted just days before uh, we left to come on this trip. So that's an amazing bit of news as well. Tomorrow we're going to head north on Lake Maskinonge and probably find our way into Donald either by tomorrow or uh, we'll get very close to it anyway. If, if the campsite's available at, at a set of falls, we might stay there just in advance of Donald. Uh, but we'll, we'll be into Donald, uh, if not tomorrow, the day after. Anyway, going to wrap things up for tonight. We've got our entire camp set up and tents have been erected, chairs are out, clothes are drying. And now it's just time to get comfortable in our chairs and relax a little bit from the hard work we did today. All right, that's it for me, and Do it. see you tomorrow. See what tomorrow brings. All right, signing off. All right, got a little more coffee for anybody. No? Don't pour it out. Get that thing uh, dialed in with the right stove and all that. I'm warming my penis, I admit. Good morning. It is uh, morning of day two and a uh, great night here last night, up late chatting with the guys. Uh, got to bed probably a little late, but we were all up around six or seven o'clock this morning, uh, packed up, made breakfast. It's around 9 p.m., 9 a.m. now, and we're getting ready to head up lake. Uh, just to recap, yesterday uh, after putting in at Sportsman Lodge at Klondike Bay, uh, we headed northeast uh, and then east through Outlet Bay and then through a series of one, two, three, four portages into Carafel Lake, and then um, a short portage into what is Maskinonge today. Now, we're about to start off uh, heading north on Maskinonge, where it ends at Lower Matagama Sea, and then from there we're going to portage into Edna Lake, Carl Lake, and we're aiming to stay overnight at the Twin Falls sites, which are the northeast part of McCarthy Bay. So that's the goal for today. We may choose to continue on to Donald if the weather holds up, uh, we did see lightning and hear thunder this morning, but it appeared to just skirt our location. And although we're dressed for rain, uh, we managed to stay dry. So that's what the day looks like. We'll probably be at camp by maybe 1 or 2 p.m. And we're going to head out shortly. But uh, so far, it's been a great trip and uh, looking forward to making some distance today.
Okay, we have made it to campsite number two, which is located at Twin Falls. And what a gorgeous scene we have here. Um, we had pouring rain for the last hour of our paddle today, so we left lower Maskinonge and worked our way all the way up past Camp Amek, and then through um, lower, lower Matogamus. And from there, worked our way up through Edna and Carl, and now we're at Twin Falls with the dam just being upstream a little bit into McCarthy Bay. So here we are, uh, the rain has stopped, the sun has come out, although the sky is still fairly dubious. And we're drying things out and getting set up and preparing for a big dinner. Guys are going for a swim. And we're just taking in this beautiful scenery behind us with this gorgeous, gorgeous waterfall. Bugs are out, people are drying up and uh, no one's complaining. So we made it here in one piece, tomorrow we're on to Donald Lake. About five hours for us to get from the bottom, uh, the bottom part of Maskinonge to this location right here, including all five portages along the way. Um, anyway, the campsite we're on is on the opposite side of the river to uh, the portage. The, the campsite located on the portage side of the river was really suboptimal. So here we are, we've got the falls behind us. We've got camp going up behind us, closed drying and uh, really just getting settled in for the evening. It's probably around four o'clock now and we have been uh, just taking our time getting set up over here. All right, time for some dinner. Good morning. It's about 7 a.m. on day three and uh, the bugs are out. But it's another beautiful morning, although <clears throat> quite overcast and I'm not sure if I heard thunder earlier. Uh, but we did have substantial rain yesterday from about 1.30 until, oh, about 30 seconds after we found this site. So we were drenched pretty good yesterday, then the sun came out, it was a beautiful evening, and then uh, the wind and the rain smells kind of started last night, but uh, I don't believe we got any overnight. But today I think there's a good chance we'll get some in the morning, that's, uh, that's not going to be a lot of fun. But the site has been really magnificent and uh, last night with the guys was amazing. Went to bed quite early around 10 and uh, was first up this morning with coffee and uh, some quiet time by the rapids which is always great when you're on a group trip. So today is going to have us heading uh, just west of here over the dam through McCarthy Bay and then into Gold uh, Colin Scott. And then from Colin Scott, we're going to head down in, into Donald, where we're probably going to stay tonight. So that's the plan for the day. It's not a long day. Yesterday was a solid five hours of work uh, over several portages. So today we've just got three portages and maybe two and a half hours of travel time. Three hours. So hopefully the weather holds out for us and we find a decent site. And uh, no more rain. That's the hope. Huh. And maybe the bugs could die down a bit too. But besides that, I'm sitting at a waterfall. It's amazing. With a coffee. Yep.
So we got over the uh, the dam on the north part of uh, McCarthy Bay. And uh, we've come south to the portage into gold. We've all made one trip so far. A little buggy, but uh, the weather has started to improve. Uh, still mixed cloud condition in the sky, but the light's starting to come through, which is great. So we've got one more carry. We're going to head across gold and then into Colin Scott and then for our night into Donald. So looking very nice here. Here's a look back out on McCarthy Bay, which is looking, I don't know, moody today, maybe a little cloudy. But uh, it's been a beautiful day to be out paddling and so far no rain, so thumbs up. All right, time for trip two. And this is a view of lovely Gold Lake. Not much more than a pond, but an absolute stunner of a tiny little lake. Portage into a Colin Scott complete. Just came over from Gold and easy portage. Downhill most of the way, nice put in at the end. And straight down here we have the uh, put in, or rather the takeout, uh, from Colin Scott leading into uh, Donald Lake, which is the goal. So off we go to Donald Lake. Here we go. shores of Donald Lake and about halfway down the lake now and heading to a site uh, where I stayed previously south end of the lake on the east side beautiful site good with lots of tent pads and uh, we've had a hard-earned day here a mixture of rain and sun and uh, some challenging portages so it's going to be nice to settle into camp and uh, put our feet up for the day it's our last full day and tomorrow we head out so all in all it's been a dynamite trip so far and looking forward to making camp very soon all right, check in later. Well, it got a little rainy on Donald Lake, didn't it? That's all right. Campsite's in sight, and although the rain's coming down a little hard right now, I do see clear sky. And 
I'm just under one dark cloud, so I'm guessing the campsite is rain-free, and we're probably about 700, me 700 meters out or so. But this is what you get when you come on canoe trips. Sometimes it rains, sometimes it shines. But this trip's been a real mixed bag with, uh, gosh, two hours of rain yesterday. Paddling, setting up camp, looking for campsites. It was miserable. But just goes to show, two hours later, we're at a campsite, we're tucked in, we've got a fire going. Um, you know, misery is often short lived on these trips. Um, sometimes not, but sometimes short lived. And to my point exactly, the rain has all but stopped and the campsite is just ahead. <sighs> day to be on the water. Beautiful. Part two of her. We've made it to our campsite on Donald Lake and although it's not our first choice of sites, uh, the one we chosen was on the east shore a bit north of where we are now, we had to give it up because it was infested with red ants and nobody wanted that. So we headed further south on the lake and uh, took a location on the west shore just by the portage. And it's a great site. Lots of tent pads, uh, very flat, bit of a climb up a hill to get there. But we're going to be happy here for tonight, especially because we've got weather coming in. Thunder and the occasional uh, shock of lightning going through the sky, but no drops yet. Um, had a few earlier today, but now it feels like it's coming for real. So I'm going to sign off and head under the tarp. And if we get some rain, I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, here's the thunder. Oh, that's thunder. Well, it is Monday morning and uh, it's around seven o'clock and Donald Lake is just on fire today. I mean, after two days of steady rain to have this sort of morning, especially on the day we leave, well, it's a bit frustrating, but certainly very welcomed. Um, we're trying to make it to the takeout for around noon because we got a buddy who's got a long drive. But man, oh man, I could stay here for the rest of the day. This sun is just what we've been waiting for this entire trip, but never really came. Anyway, we're going to push off shortly and uh, make our way over to the 800 meter portage and head out from this trip, which has been just magnificent. Donald Lake. Just gorgeous. All right, time to get packed up and make a move. Well, the sunny morning prognosis appears to have been a little premature because uh, no sooner after I was admiring the sunny day, we have been met with rain. So it's going to be a rainy paddle out, which is fine, but uh, looks like it just could be an all day drizzle. Anyway, off we go. Only one switch sides. 
so I'm really okay. No, I'll just, I'll try, try not to lose it. Thanks, guys. You guys are really great. Just finished the first carry on the 800 meter portage and uh, back for the second and last load. Uh, everything's been taken over by the guys. Some canoes are at the halfway point, others are at the end. But a uh, very straightforward portage. Very straightforward portage with uh, not too many ups and downs. So we'll be glad to be done this and back out on the water. All right, picking up the last load and heading on my way. sure the name of the lake it's the it's the lake that falls in between Donald Lake and Kukagami which I'm now looking out onto so we finished the 295 into Kukagami and now we've just got a southward paddle back to the Sportsman's Lodge so um, really not that far to go although uh, there was a headwind that sort of appeared out of nowhere uh, at the end of this portage given the lake that we just came from was dead calm and a beautiful paddle but anyway it's not terrible and uh, we'll just have to muscle our way back so Last portage done, unless we choose to do that little 20 meter one, but I have a feeling today we might just paddle around the island instead. So that's it for now. It's been a great trip and I'm looking forward to uh, making it back to the lodge and getting home at a reasonable hour. All right, off I go. Made it across Kukagami, but uh, not without a lot of work. Um, the wind really was howling, uh, particularly in the center. Uh, the, the gusts coming down from the other corridor of the lake kind of met in the middle and uh, made for some white capping and uh, just some difficult paddling. But muscled my way through and I'm now in the leeward side of the lake, which is close to the 20 meter portage that we're about to hook up on over here. So just waiting for one more canoe to make it in from the uh, north end of the lake. They're in sight, but trailing a bit. And the other two are ahead and uh, making their way to the portage. All right, home stretch. We made it. We're back at the Sportsman's Lodge. We got all the canoes up on the beach and uh, now begins the unloading and getting everything back to the trucks and preparing for the long drive back to the city. But what a great trip, total mixed bag of weather. Today, so moody and blustery, rain clouds, just, you know, such a mixed bag up here, you know, moody, moody. Tomogamy is a moody place. Uh, but we love the moods and we had a great time together and we can't wait to come back. So signing off for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.